Okay, guys, so we're going to start. Can you see my presentation? Hello, teacher, yes. Okay. So welcome for your reading session. My name is Jorge Borges. I'm going to be your tutor for these sessions. And this to the second week we're gonna talking about or working in this topic a painless operation the idea is you read different text different exercise uh we're gonna respond uh different sentences or captions taking account this this text yeah you have to read but is maybe a simple reading for for your level yeah so that's the deal yeah and you have to read complete uh, the exercise we're gonna read uh, one text about this uh, one pain painless operation and we're gonna respond some questions or sentence with true or false yeah so i don't know um someone of you want to start with the first paragraph please okay teacher okay me. no okay okay the first and daisy the second okay teacher the second you, Juan, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. It didn't, Howard. In 2018, Alice Lakin had a problem with the bone in his arm and needed a service con operation normality with an operation like that. The doctor got the pain and and aesthetic so the or she doesn't feel any pain but liking could ban the anesthetic in it uh, he overeaten um governance himself and simple thoughts himself that he could uh, not feel any pain that loop about direct seconds then the operation started according to Mr. Uh, teacher. Um, um, puedes agrandar un poquito más tu pantalla? Um, no, I think no. <laughs> oh, no veo la última parte. Está muy pequeña. But you in your PC or your cell phone? Mm -hmm. uh, computer teacher. Uh, my cell phone, I, I don't think. But and the others you see very well? No, teacher. Uh, Juan, you, you see very well the, the screen? Almost teacher is, is not clear, but, but yes, I can, I can read. Okay, so please, um, let me check in the link, the test, the text. Hmm. I'm gonna take in here. Okay, here you see very well. It's better, yes. Okay, so Juan, continue with second, please. The doctor David Lewin Clerk was a bit worried. He had to take some bone for Lanky's arm. 
he watched Linky carefully during the operation as he wasn't sure that Linky could feel no pain. I didn't think Mr. Linky could hear us, said Dr. Lewin Clare, but halfway through the operation, he said, how it's going? Thus, when the doctor realized that Linky was not in pain, the operation lasted 83 minutes. Okay, thank you. So, Anna, are you here for read the third? I don't know if you're talking right now, but I can hear you. So please check your microphone. And Juan, finish. Finish the third, please. Mr. Link, he started in uh, Thaisen people when he was 16 and uh, is now an expert. It wasn't his first operation without an aesthetic. In 1996, a friend had not him before a 30 minute operation on his stomach. Both operations were successful. So Linky had a third operation without an aesthetic in 2013. Okay. So let's gonna continue in the presentation. So the idea maybe um this text has a difficult vocabulary, some words, yeah. But the idea is simple, yeah. In this text describe um, a type of operation that it didn't hurt, yeah. So um, maybe some feedback for you. Uh, the idea is, is when you read in English, you read with the same fluency and the same confidence that you read in Spanish, yeah? So if you read in English, you have to respect the punctuation, yeah? Example, uh, let's gonna check maybe the third. The third paragraph because it's is the short. Uh, this is an example. Uh, Mr. Linky um, start hypnotizing people when he was 16 and is now an expert. You stop at that point. Yeah. Continue. It wasn't his first operation without an aesthetic. Stop in the point. In 1996, a friend hypnotized, hypnotized him before a 30 minute operation on his stomach. Yeah, that's the idea. You read maybe with the same intonation that you read in, in Spanish. And the others, uh, you have maybe some question about uh, one word the meaning of one word or pronunciation of one word? Yes, it's hypnot hypnotize is the pronunciation? No, hypnotize. You're, ah, you're pro hypnotize. Yeah, you're, ah, okay. you're, you're pronounced you're pronounce right when you read, yeah. Hypnotized. Teacher, a uh, pronunciation and uh, the word anesthetic? Yeah, anesthetic, yeah. Anesthetic, okay. Okay, so taking account this text, uh, we're gonna respond some questions. Yeah, so let's gonna check. So this is the exercise. Uh, we have to read the the last text, and we're gonna check if these sentences are true or false. So the first uh, link took 
uh, about half an hour to hypnotize himself. Is true or false? Is true, teacher. Okay, true. Do you think the same? Maybe I, I think that is false. This ah half half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Yes, I think that is true. Okay, we're gonna check. Uh, is he's gonna talking about uh, the time? So hypnotize himself, yeah? We're gonna check in the text. So it's in the first, I think. So in 2008, Alex Linky had a problem with the bone in his arm and he needed a serious operation. Normally with an operation like that, the doctor gives the patient an anesthetic so that he or she doesn't feel any pain yeah so in this part say that normally in an operation um the patient the patient have anesthetic to doesn't feel the pain yeah so this is the part for but linky refused the anesthetic yeah instead he hypnotized himself and simply told himself that he could not feel any pain. That took about seconds. 30, 30, 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah, 30 seconds. A half and a minute, not an hour. Yeah. Then the operation starts. Uh, according to Mr. Linky, pain signals uh, do not reach his brain when he is hypnotized. So the sentence Linky took about half an hour to hypnotize himself. Is false. Is false, yeah. So the second, and uh, Linky didn't speak during the operation. True or false? False teacher. Okay, false. Johan. You not sure? No. Okay, we're gonna check. Let's go back. Let's go back. Here, the second. So the doctor, David Clerk. David Clerk to to read quick the name, yeah? David Clark uh, was a bit worried and he had to take some bone from Linky's arm. He watched Linky carefully during the operation as he was ensured that Linky could feel no pain. Uh, I didn't think Mr. Linky could hear us, said, and Dr. Clerk, but halfway through the operation, he said, how's it going? That's when the doctor released that Linky was not in pain. The operation lasts um, 83 minutes. So what do you think? What is the response? What is the response? What is the question? Linky didn't speak during the operation. It's false. False teachers. Linky didn't speak during the operation. Yeah. It's false because in one part of the operation, he said, how's it going? The operation. Yeah. So Linky speaks during the operation. Okay, nice. And the last. All the operations were successful. It's true. 
Okay, true. It's true, teacher. Okay, we're gonna check that. So, is in the third. Uh, Mr. Linky started hypnotizing people when he was 16 and is now an expert. It wasn't his first operation without anesthetic. In 1996, a friend hypnotized him before a 30 minute operation on his stomach. Both operations were su successful. So Linky had a third operation without anesthetic in 2013. This time on his ankle, which also went well. Yeah, all the operations are su successful. Very nice. Okay, you have questions in here or continue? No questions. Continue, teachers. Okay, Anna, I can hear you. I don't know what is the problem with, with your microphone, so please check it. Um, continue. We're gonna we're gonna do the same exercise. We're gonna read uh, a text, and we're gonna say true false or in this case doesn't say yeah three different options so this text is more clear i think <laughs> and it's a little a little a little longer than the last but it's a, a easy topic so who want to start to read the first paragraph as uh, something else this word in the title your survey says this word is survey survey yeah because i have students that confuse this word with survive yeah this word is survey so who want to start to read this only one part uh, the the first paragraph okay teacher happiness your survey says so are between the age of 13 and 18 what made you happy there have best loves surveys about dangers and happiness and they that come to difference Conclu con conclu conclusions or their pronunciation word teacher no yeah conclusions you're conclusions. right conclusions some surveys said that most young people are happiness when they spend time with their family other size is when they're with friends sometimes things that getting good makes at school and passing exam makes them happy and other fails than this having a uh, boyfriends at or girlfriends that improves their life. The problem is that there isn't use one things that makes every young happy. Happiness is sometimes different for age for use and what maybe use happy last week meet not made use happy next week okay thank you johan okay. continue with the second please however there are some things that can help improve our mood when we're feeling unhappy experts believe that exercise can make you a happier person but how exercise releases chemicals in your brain that are related to a feeling of pleasure. Many people who exercise say that the more exercise they do, the more they want to do. Now we know why. In addition to this, exercise is also good for our physical health. So if we know that we're doing something healthy, 
that should make us even happier. Okay, very nice. Continue. So, um, I don't know, Anna, you can read or you have the same problem with your microphone? I don't know. No, I can't. I can I don't know. I can listen. No, I don't know if your partners listen to you, but I can listen. No teacher, me neither. Yeah. Please check no, that problem. Okay. So this is the second part or, or see, yeah. This is the second part. So um, um continue please with the third. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, uh, Daisy. Continue. Okay. There's another supreme idea to help make you happier. Allow you meet than that eating chocolate is bad for you. It seems that is is good uh, to eat chocolate with were feeling sad. According to some research, experts say that eating chocolate can make you feel happy. Of course, it isn't a pronunciation of the word teacher después de it isn't. Healthy, healthy. Healthy, yeah. Healthy, so eat too much bad chocolate. Resulted chemicals in the same way the exercise does that's and for some people it's either and quicker than running several kilometers or working out to the gym. Okay, continue one. It's also important to remember that we can't all be happy all the time. There are times in our lives when things are going well and we feel good. But we can also be happy for brief moments and we should value this as well. For example, perhaps you're hmm, sitting, 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 yeah. On, yeah, <laughs> sitting on a beach watching the sun on the water with friends around you and you feel happy. Remember that that moment. Our, or maybe your dog does something silly that makes you laugh. Remember it. And when you feel sad, go for a run or eat some chocolate. You'll soon cheer up. Okay, very nice. So I don't I don't know what is you'll soon cheer up. Sure. You'll, you'll soon, you'll soon, you'll yeah, soon. Quickly, no? Yeah. But cheer, cheer up. Cheer up, I... Cheer up. Sorry? Oh, the pronunciation? Mm, the word cheer up? Is correct no. cheer up or other pronunciation teacher? No, the pronunciation is cheer up. Okay. Yeah, it's... And maybe the, the meaning is... Um, I don't know. <laughs> like... Um, on Can you hear me now? Uh, like uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Feeling feel good. Um, you you can yeah. I, you understand? You don't have to explain that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's to give. Um, do it. No. Nope. Yeah, do it. Uh, animate to do it. Yeah, something like that. So yeah. Uh, I I think I listen, Anna. Your speaker. I oh, know, he's she's gone. So sad. Okay, continue. So that's the idea. Um, and maybe your you release in this moment that the reading exercises. Uh, a little boring and difficult, but it's necessary. So the idea with this exercise is the same. We're gonna read some sentences and we're gonna respond 
taking account the text. So, the first, the surveys show that teenagers and parents have different ideas about happiness. True, false, doesn't say. Excuse me, can you hear me now? True, teacher. Okay, I can hear you right now. Oh, thank you, teacher. I'm sorry, I was on my way to work and my earphones weren't working, but I, I'm present, I'm here. Okay, I'm going to put you thank to you read. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is your response, Daisy and Juan, for the first? Um, Maybe for me, the yes doesn't say, I don't remember. Pardon. Okay, we, we're going to check together, yeah? So I'm going to let's go back. And Anna, please read me the first paragraph, please, again. Can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah, very well. Okay. So you're between the ages of 13 and 18. What makes you happy? There have been lots of surveys about teenagers and happiness, and they all come to different conclusions. Some surveys say that most young people are happiest when they spend time with their family. Others say it's when they're with friends. Some teenagers think that getting good marks at school and passing exams makes them happy, and others feel that it's having a boyfriend or girlfriend that improves their lives. The problem is that there isn't just one thing that makes everyone happy. Happiness is something different for each of us, and what makes us happy, what made us happy last week, might not make us happy next week. Okay, very nice. So we have to take account the first part. Yeah. What is the questions? What is the survey says about teenagers and parents? Yeah. And in the first part, say, um, okay, I'm gonna read. Uh, the first paragraph. So you're you're between the ages of 13 and 18. What makes you happy? There have been lots of surveys about teenagers and happiness, and they all come to different conclusions. Yeah, and the sentence say, sorry, it's too it's teacher. The sentence says the surveys show that teenagers and parents, yeah. In the text, you we have the maybe the opinion of the teenagers, but no, not the, the parents. parents. Yeah. Doesn't say. Mm, yeah, maybe doesn't. Say, it, it's difficult, yeah, because uh, the response says false, but. For me, doesn't say is correct too. Yeah, because the parents is, is not in, in the text. Yeah. But maybe the teenagers, the teenagers is in the text. Yeah. So maybe it's a false because you use one part of the text and one in invented part. Yeah. So maybe a state that this one is false only for for the teenagers. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. You you got it. Or... Yes, it's clear. Okay, so continue with second. The things that make us happy never change. True, false doesn't say. False. False teacher. False. Okay, false. You nice. You got it. So, um, that's part is in the first, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to read. OK, yeah, maybe this part is the, is the response. In the first paragraph, the problem is that there isn't just one thing that makes everyone happy. happy happiness is something different for each of us. And what made us happy last week might not make us happy next week yeah very nice you're right okay continue 
The survey show that teenagers who do exercise are happier. I don't know if it says specifically teenagers, but yes, it says that it can make you happier in general. Yeah. And but you guys? More teenagers, my B is people in general, doesn't say. Okay, Does we're going we're, we're gonna to check, we're going to check. This is in the second, the second, yeah. However, there are some things that can help improve our mood when we are feeling unhappy. Experts believe that exercise can make you happier, happier person, a happier person. But how? Exercise release, releases chemicals in your brain that are related to a feeling of pleasure. Many people who, who exercise say that the more exercise they do, they, the more they, I think that's a mistake, I don't know, the more they want to do. Now um, we know why. In addition to this, exercise is also good for our physical health. So if we know that we're doing something healthy, that should make us even happier. Difficult, difficult question. Okay. Mm, I think this is a true. Yeah. And I'm going to explain why. Because if you check the first part, when you start the reading, the survey is between the ages of 13 and 18. What is the meaning of that? All the people in the survey are teenagers. Yeah. So uh, the people in the second paragraph that say, the exercise makes happy make happy is our teenagers you understand you got it yes teacher okay so the the sentence say the survey showed that the that teenagers who do exercise are happier and yeah all the people in the survey uh, are teenagers and the part of the teenagers that do exercise are happier so the third is true let's continue with fourth when we feel depressed it's good to do something active Well, it doesn't say, but you can infer it from the text. Okay. Juan, don't be shy. It is true, teacher. Okay, through, one through, and um, one doesn't say. And you, Juan, you here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's good to do something active. They, they say it about the to do exercise, to do something. Well, well, something is exercise, exercise is something. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> yeah, we're going to check I'm it out. Yeah. So this is in the third. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another surprising idea to help make us happier. Although you might think that eating chocolate is bad for you. It seems that it is good to eat chocolate. Isn't this part? Yeah, yeah. To eat chocolate when we're feeling sad. According to some research, experts say that eating chocolate can make us feel happy. Of course, it isn't healthy to eat too much, but chocolate release chemicals in the same way that exercise does and for some people it's it's easier and quicker 
than running several kilometers and working out in the gym. No, it's in the second, sorry. So the question say that uh, maybe, maybe when we feel depressed, it's good to do something active, yeah? But in this case, um, the response is doesn't say because, yeah, um, the text say that to do exercise improve our mood and even makes make us happier when we do exercise, yeah? But it's more, it's a little specific to to mention depression, yeah. It's 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 too much specific, and in the text doesn't the text doesn't talk about the depression or the people depressed. So in this case, is doesn't say maybe it's talking about um it, the um, the four the the four sentences uh, have something active it's not talking about the exercise and the text doesn't talking about the depression so uh, it's difficult yeah, don't have any part to be true or false. So this this one doesn't say. It's clear. You got it. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I think I explained so bad that, but yeah, it doesn't say. So continue with fifth. Exercise and eating chocolate can produce similar results. I think that's true. Okay. Two answers with true. You, Juan? Yeah, yes, it's your true. You agree? Right. We're going to check. This is in the third. Uh, there's another surprising idea to help make us happier. Although you might think that eating chocolate is bad for you, it seems that it's good to eat chocolate when we are feeling sad. According to some research, experts say that eating chocolate can make us feel happy. Of course, it isn't healthy to eat too much chocolate, but chocolate releases chemicals in the same way that exercise does. And for some people, it's easier and quicker than running several kilometers and working out in the gym. Yeah, it's true. Very nice. And the last, uh, it's important to value even short moment of happiness. True it's teacher. True. true. It's true. true. Wow so fast so this isn't the last i think it's also important to remember that we ask anna can you read this for, for me the last need, paragraph yeah yeah i need to hear you okay um it's also important to remember that we can't be happy all the time there are times in our lives when things are going well and we feel good but we can also be happy for brief moments and we should value these as well for example perhaps you're sitting on a beach watching the sun on the water with friends around you and you feel happy remember that moment or maybe your dog does something silly that makes you laugh remember it and when you feel sad go for a run or eat some chocolate you'll soon cheer up very nice so yeah in this in this part um when we can also be happy be happy, sorry, that's a mistake. Be happy for a brief moment and we should value this as well. So this is true. You're right. So you have questions or doubts? Yes, teacher. 
for one word, one meaning in this text or something? No, for sure. Okay, no. no, it's all clear. So that's it. This is all for this class. Do you have any questions or doubts in general? I don't have any questions. You Everything can, was clear. You can make uh, questions in Spanish if you have doubts about the classes. This is the moment. This is the moment to, to ask. Okay, if you don't have questions, um, I'm going to give you a little feedback. But I'm going to give you this feedback in Spanish. Yeah. Entonces, um, la idea con estas clases de reading es mejorar sus capacidades de, de leer. Eh, en vocabulario están bien, considero yo. Um, digamos que lo que les decía en el momento de la clase, en el momento en que estábamos en el ejercicio de reading, es que no, de pronto eso se notó al inicio, porque ya después cuando les hice la corrección, cambiaron eso. La idea es no leer como a trompicones, la idea es leer fluido como cuando leen en español, porque pues tiene que sentirse el inglés también natural. Otra cosa, eh, sí estaría bien que revisen algunas pronunciaciones porque siempre hace falta, siempre hace falta. Eh, normal, no sé si alguno de ustedes, creo que Juan no, porque Juan viene de, de B1 conmigo, pero no sé si ustedes estuvieron antes en una clase de A2 y toda la clase fue en inglés, así como fue esta. No sé si así habitualmente lo hacen, porque es que yo también vengo de B1 y por cosas del destino resulté en A2, dictando clases de A2. Entonces, eh, el, creo que fue la primera clase. Yo le pregunté a los estudiantes, les dije, chicos, ¿tienen algún problema si les dicto la clase en inglés? Y ellos me dijeron, no, no, está bien. Y pues yo siento que es mejor. De pronto, si no están acostumbrados, es difícil, pero... Así se habitúan un poquito más al lenguaje. Igual estas clases son de, de reading. O sea, no son speaking or listening. No son clases que los vayan a agobiar mucho. Entonces, esa es la idea. Mejorar vocabulario, fluidez, comprensión, interpretación de textos. Digamos que en esta primera clase me centré un poquito más en su manera de leer. Pero si ustedes participan en clases de reading a futuro, la idea ya va a ser más interpretar que... Obviamente siempre van a haber correcciones de fluidez, pronunciación, si necesitan saber algún significado. Pero la idea siempre va a ser que ya eh, lean fluido y pasemos a interpretar textos, hacer ejercicios teniendo en cuenta los textos. Y eso sería todo, chicos. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Profe, bueno, no sé, no, duda no, porque pues el proceso para mí es enriquecedor en el sentido que uno mejora pues dicción, eh, interpretación, por ejemplo, una técnica o algo así para interpretar mucho más rápido un texto. Yo creo que lo mejor que puedes hacer es uh, eh, volver más rico tu vocabulario como que eh, revisar la pronunciación de las palabras saber cómo decirlas, saber cómo enlazarlas con otras. Por ejemplo, había una parte que hay una parte en la que siempre se me estancan los estudiantes en el primer texto, que es eh, hypnotize himself, porque no son capaces de enlazar las dos palabras seguidas, ¿sí? Entonces como que decían hypnotize y luego se dan cuenta que adelante estaba himself y ahí se pausaban y luego continuaban. Entonces es eso, como saber cómo darle continuidad a las oraciones. 
ya cuando se sepan las pronunciaciones y sepan cómo enlazar los textos y cómo hacer la, la puntuación, no se trata de leer rápido, porque es que a veces leyendo rápido se comían los puntos. Si no, se trata de leer como si leyeran en español. Entonces es eso, si enriquecen un poquito el vocabulario, después leer ya es como leer en español. Cosa así muy x muy simple. Listo, dudas aclaradas, ninguna otra pregunta. Chicos, son muy no, callados. No, teacher, thank you. No, teacher. Ok, so, entonces, pues, muchas gracias por estar aquí. Me imagino que tienen la misma duda que todos los estudiantes, que dónde está la asistencia. Eh, la asistencia sí. se las envío en me, más o menos dos o tres minutos a su correo institucional. Vale, profe. Ah, ok. Eh, importante que la llenen, porque si no la llenan es como si no hubieran estado aquí en la clase. Ok, sí. profe. Listo, chicos, pues, entonces, que tengan buen día, que les vaya muy bien y nos vemos en otra sesión. Bueno, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, bye bye. Have a nice day.